Hi, everyone. Hello, good evening. How are you? Everything's good. I was buying socks for my business. Uh, really? That's interesting. Yeah. What kind of business do you have? I remember that you told us, but I don't remember exactly what was that. Uh, currently, I I have a sock business and a moringa business. Really? Yeah, yeah. Socks like. Give me a minute. Of course. <laughs> good evening. Hello, good evening. Like how this are you? One. Let's see. Fine, thanks. How are you? I'm very well. Oh, those are very good. Thank you, Patricia, for asking. Very Captain well. America. Okay, that's good. Eh? <laughs> Hi, how are you? Hey. A lot of designs. A lot of designs. Good evening. How are you, Luis? Um, good, very good. Nice. I'm so a little tired, but for the day in the in the jam, uh, very hard. Mm, okay. Yeah, but that happens sometimes. There are some days that are not um, not uh, that good. I mean, so relaxed. But that is part of the life, right? So we can move on and we can check into that. But the good thing is that today is Thursday. I mean, it's almost weekend, so probably we're going to rest. Okay, let's wait just one or two more minutes. Meanwhile, the other people are coming into the class. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine. Fine. And you? Very well. Taking that okay. I don't have... Have you seen that it's not that windy today? Maybe that stopped, right? Uh, repeat me. I. Yeah, I was checking that it's not that windy today. So it's kind of hot. Yesterday was very cold and today it was. Well, I don't feel that windy. I don't know if it's just me. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the first question is, how are you doing in the platform? Did you finish the midterm test, everybody? Yes, I, I, I finished yeah. the, the mid-exam. Very well. Yeah. Okay. Today we're going to actually check some things that are in the platform. That will be the first thing. Also, remember that uh, we can send the papers for the next a module the next uh, level of English so we have a few days but try to do it as soon as possible when, when is the the last day to sus subscribe on another course the last day is February 10th uh, I was recommending oh. everybody to do it uh, before just in case they say no you need to send this picture or you need to send this again sometimes oh, things yeah. don't happen so it's better to send them uh, sooner. Okay. Good. Okay, so we're going to start with the platform. We will just check the other exercises that we need to uh, be checking by today. So we have, for example, the um, 2.8 exercise that it was a knowledge check. Um, Cecilia, could you please tell me your reading? I oh, know there is no objective here. We finished that one here, right? Ready? Everybody has finished this one? Yes. Questions about this? Hey, that's me. Okay, so let's move on. The other one is uh, 2.9. Uh, let's wait for that to load. Okay, here it comes. It's just kind of slow. Okay, so we have the three. Uh, this is 
part three mm -hmm. already. So, Cecilia, could you please read me, help me reading this one? Yes, okay. Um, give me a one minute. Uh, okay. Uh, build your English language skills with these lessons on adjectives and nouns. By the end of this class, you will learn how to express your opinions about houses and, uh, and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to describe your house and apartment in English and use evaluation, evaluating prices such as apartments are too small for pets, houses are too expensive, or houses cost too much money. Very good. So that is the part that we were checking before, right? Too much, too expensive, too something. So... Um, in this case, it's about apartment, but you can say about everything. You can say, for example, do you remember that we were talking that we have too much pollution, right, in El Salvador and in the world? So that is like the grammar that you should be checking in this uh, one. And the first one is uh, evaluation with adjectives and nouns. We are going to check into that today. That is very, very useful, actually. And then we have the uh, knowledge check, the 3.2, uh, that is for you to work with questions. And uh, uh, did you finish this already? Yes. 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 Yeah. No questions, right? No. No yet. Okay. But please, uh, if you haven't done this one, let's uh, try to do it uh, by the end of this week. Then we have the 3.3. Um, Luis, uh, could you please help me reading this one? Okay. Practice using adjective and nouns to express comparison in English. In this lesson, practice comparing houses and apartments to express similarities or, or difference. Additionally, learn how to use expression of, of quantity like just as enough or too much. To modify an adjective and noun, for example, just as comfortable or too few closet. Very good. So here we uh, are comparing, but we are using specific words like just as, enough, too much, and uh, sometimes adjectives and nouns. So just as comfortable or too few closets. So that is all together. We are going to check into that as well today. But in the platform, we are able to see a little video about this one and explaining how you are going to be using that. We're not going to watch that one because I know that you did. And then we have the knowledge check, the 3.5. Um, did you finish this already? Yes. Sure. Questions about this? No. Very good. You're very good students. You have done everything. That's nice. So let's see the next one. Teacher, do you listen to me? Yes, I can listen to you. Oh, okay. Very well. The other one is expressing wishes. That is also something that we're going to check into today. Um, and this is like a little video about the explanation and then we have the knowledge check about that. Um, questions about this part? Uh, everybody has finished this? Yes, I finished. Yeah. I finished. Good, good. After this, just waiting. Here it comes. Um, we have the midterm test. The first part is always listening, where you can uh, listen to an audio and then check the option. Uh, everything is fine with this one, right? Okay, then we have uh, the past tense for this exercise. This is very easy as well. So you finished this already, right? Yes. Good. Then vocabulary, so we can choose an option depending on the situation. Everybody has done this? Yes. Yeah. Good. And then used to, that is uh, also very easy about changes. Yeah. This is done, right?
um, part E we have word order so we can uh, unscramble and put everything together so you finish this already right yes good and in the part F we have indirect questions that is something that we were checking yesterday so um, this is done already right yes good Part G is reading and comprehension, which is also very important. And this is a little reading. We are not going to read that one, but um, you finished that already, right? There is not questions. Yes. Okay. Nice. <coughs> After this one, then we, by Monday, we will be starting this section number four. That is this one. But we are not going to get into that yet. We are going to continue with our class. I'm very happy that everybody is doing the platform and uh, that you are moving on. So let's continue with our class. Yesterday, at the end of the class, we were checking about too, uh, too much, too many, not enough, and enough. Do you remember? Yes. yes. Okay, we were taking that, we can use, well, the grammar for this one, you can use that in different, like, grammar situations. So, for example, we were checking two plus adjective, like, this cake is too sweet. Uh, also, too much with a count noun, but after a verb. You have too much free time, you work too much. Then we had too many plus the plural noun. You eat too many eggs, for example. So that is like we don't need more, right? Then we have not enough. That is very similar. Not enough plus the noun. Uh, for example, they don't have enough workers. Uh, not enough with adjective and, uh, well, it's going to be not plus adjective and then enough. So she isn't all enough to vote. Just remember the structure that is going to be not adjective and then enough and then the same situation but with a verb I don't sleep enough okay yeah, the verb is going to be in the middle in between don't or not and enough and remember that uh, when we use not enough is when we need more actually the opposite of too many and the last one it was enough that is similar to the other one, but when we use enough in affirmative, it means that we're okay. We don't need more and we don't need less. Everything is fine. Okay. So, uh, is this part clear? Yes. Yeah. <coughs> okay, so let's move on. check where are we not here yet here we are okay so for today we're going to start checking about comparisons with nouns and adjectives this is very very common in English very common so with adjectives so we can say houses aren't as convenient as apartment so in this one we're going to use the two words as and then the adjective in the middle okay and we have two situations we have uh, affirmative and negative statements in this case for example houses aren't as convenient as apartment so if you use a negative part a negative statement that means that the second one is more than the first one in this case houses aren't as convenient as apartment that means that Apartments are more convenient than houses. <laughs> Is that part clear? Uh, teacher, yeah. uh, in your, uh, in the, in the second example, houses aren't just convenient. There is a mistake. Yeah, there is a uh, as as. One, one as missing? Yeah, it's missing. It's going to be houses aren't 
uh, uh, just uh, well, it's going to be as just convenient as apartment. Just, as just convenient. Just as convenient as apartment. So you can say that way. But yeah, it's missing on us. Uh, you are right. It's not that correct. But the uh, the idea is that you can use that one also. I mean, you can use that with adjective. It's more common. It's very common just to use as. Like the first one, houses aren't as convenient as apartment. That is like the most popular, okay? And, uh, well, let me just continue. Okay, this is like the same. It's not as cheap as the last apartment. The same structure. And the other one says it's almost as cheap. Uh, this is a very good one. Because we have other word that is almost. It's almost as cheap as the last apartment. So as you can see, we can use other words with us, adjective and us. Okay? It's almost as cheap as the last apartment. Is that part clear? Yeah. Sure. sure. I have a question. Go ahead. Good night. Good night. And um, uh, what is the mean as in this in these sentences? Okay. Um, well, I will tell you that in Spanish, but just remember that is not the meaning of that. Uh, when nosotros traducimos o queremos ver como que es en una o la otra cosa, a veces lo que hacemos es adaptar la, en la lengua. En este caso, en la última, por ejemplo, que dice it's almost as cheap as the last apartment, dice es casi tan barato como el último apartamento. Ahora, eso no significa cómo, sino que se utiliza en inglés equivalente a cuando nosotros decimos una frase como esa. Es tal como este, tanto como esto. O no es tanto. Es como un auxiliar. No es un auxiliar, es un comparativo. Ok. Very good. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. Teacher, I have another question. Go ahead. Um, and the sentences that mentioned uh, Roxana before, mm -hmm. it is correct or actually uh, miss an us? It's missing an us, yes. It's going to be houses are just as convenient as apartments. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And then we have comparisons with nouns. It's kind of similar. The difference is that we are not going to use an adjective. We're going to use a noun. In this case, on the first one it says, houses have just as many rooms as apartment. Okay. As you can see, uh, between us and us, we're going to have nouns. In this case, it's rooms. So we can compare that as well. And also, we can have that in affirmative or in negative. It's possible. Remember, in negative, one is more than the other one. In affirmative, is the same. And if we add words as just or almost or any other word, it's going to be with the difference that that word denotes. So we have the other example. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. In this case, it's negative. That means that houses have more privacy than the apartment. And we have the other examples. It doesn't have as many bedrooms as the last apartment. And the last one, it has just as many bedrooms as the last apartment. So the main difference is that, well, there are some things that we have to think when we use this kind of grammar. The first one is we can use this with adjectives and nouns. We can use that in negative, so one is more than the other one. In affirmative, that they are the same. Or with other words like almost or just to denote a slightly difference. That is like the most important part here. Do you have any questions about this? No. Okay, very well. We're going to- I got it. 
good perfect so we're going to um do a little exercise here let me just move this okay so what we are going to do is we are going to compare using that grammar us and us okay and we have two cities Alienopolis and Terribleville okay and here this is what we're going to compare in the first column we have beautiful people clean hospital pollution and the stars are going to tell us what which one is better than the other one okay but we are going to use us to compare the two cities are you ready is that clear what we're going to do I think yes. <laughs> okay, very well. So let's see. Uh, Roxana, could you please help me with the number one? Who is going to be the comparison? Do you have an idea on that? First one. Yeah, the first one about beautiful. Alinopolis is beautiful than terrible vile. Mm, okay, but remember that we are not going to use more beautiful than. We're going to use us okay. and us. Um, okay. Alinopolis. <laughs> Uh, almost as beautiful as terrible bill. Okay, let's analyze that. You say I, I think teacher, uh -huh. I ahead. think Alinopolis isn't isn't uh isn't as uh beautiful than uh, as as beautiful as uh terrible bill. Okay, so it let's, let's check on that one, okay? That is very important. That's why we're going to practice this this grammar. Uh, you say, okay. uh, go ahead. Uh, maybe uh, we can say, uh, terrible view uh, is not as beautiful as Alinopolis. That is correct. That is uh -huh. correct. Okay, so that's why we need to practice this grammar so in this yeah. case Alinopolis has four stars and Terribleville has one star that means that Alinopolis is more beautiful than Terribleville right right now as Patricia says in this grammar we're going to compare beautiful that is the adjective and since we're going to use a negative statement, because one is more than the other one, the first is going to be the one that is less. In this case, Terribleville is not as beautiful as Alinopolis. Yeah. Can you see how important is this? That we're going to identify first what is going to be the difference, right? Okay, is yeah. clear is clear the first example? Yes, I got it. Yeah. When Patricia yes. says sell, mm -hmm. because I, I sell Alinopolis first. Uh -huh. And and Alinopolis is beautiful. Yes. And, and and Patricia said a terrible bill is not beauty as beautiful than <clears throat> as Alinopolis. It's that correct. Is. Yes. It. Nice, nice. Thank you very much. So we're going to go to number two. Uh, let's see. Uh, sure. Can I try? Yeah, of course. Please go ahead. Uh, the Annapolis have not, have not people, have not as people as terrible. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be like that one, right? Alinopolis doesn't have as, as many people as Terribleville. 
So in this case, it's a noun. It's people. Thank you very much. That was very good. So uh, interesting, this uh, grammar. So in the second one, it's going to be the way that he said. Alinopolis doesn't have as many people as charitable work. Nice. Okay, who wants to do number three? Um, terrible. Terrible is not clean as no terrible is not uh, as clean as Alinopolis. Okay. Terrible bill is not as clean as Alinopolis. That is it. So it's less than. Good. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Um, Estela, could you please help me with number four? Number four. Okay. Moment, teacher. Of course, take your time. Terrible. Yo. I know. Did me perdí. Okay. Uh, and it's uh, now. Okay. Uh, Andrea wants to participate. Go ahead, Andrea. Um. Uh. Alinopoli have a have as hospital as terrible by. Okay, just missing one little word, only one little word. So uh, it's going to be. <coughs> sure, I can try again. Yeah, of course. Go ahead. The Alinopoli doesn't have as hospital. As terrible bill. Okay, very, very close. So, Alinopolis doesn't have as many hospitals as house. terrible bill. That is going to be okay. So, just remember that Thanks. first, if you are going to use a negative statement, first is the one that has less. Okay, and then you just need to think about the structure, like in this case. Uh, Alinopolis doesn't, uh, Alinopolis has less, right? That is the first thing that you need to come and check. Which one has less? In this case, it's Alinopolis, then you start with Alinopolis. Alinopolis has, or well, it doesn't, Alinopolis doesn't have as many hospitals as charitable bill. As many hospitals. Good. I forget. <clears throat> yeah, but that's why we are practicing, you know? This is a practice for we to, to get involved into that one because in the platform or when you see something and you write an exercise is, is different than when you are talking. When you're speaking, sometimes we need to practice more. That is normal. That's why we are doing this one. Okay. Thanks. Very, very good. Let's see um, who is the next. Um, Cecilia, could you please help me with number five? In pollution, uh, okay. Um, Alinapolis has um, I don't know, less pollution, has less pollution. Mm, okay. <coughs> oh, yes, Does, um, doesn't have, doesn't have, mm -hmm. doesn't have. Okay. okay, that is has less pollution. As terrible bill. Okay. <laughs> but I don't I don't get why I do you use less? That. Okay. So let's analyze this one. Creo que todavía no queda claro algunas cosas. La vamos a explicar en yeah. español para que veamos cómo yo creo que sí lo entienden, pero ya la hora de usarlo es cuando decimos y que podemos Uh -huh. creo que creería yo que sí, si ya hicieron la plataforma, pensaría yo que sí, dijimos, ah, sí, esto sí es verdad, pero ya a la hora de hablar es como que, y, y como lo digo, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a hacer este, de pollution, juntos. Lo primero que vamos a hacer, lo primero que vamos a hacer en este tipo de ejercicios es ver cuál tiene menos, 
si tienen igual, es una afirmativa. Si una de las dos que estoy comparando tiene menos, entonces es una oración negativa la que voy a hacer. Eso es lo primero. Okay. En este caso, en el number five, pollution has less in an Alinopolis. O sea, Alinopolis mm. tiene menos que Charleville. Entonces, de entrada yo sé que es una negativa. Una oración negativa. Entonces, cuando voy a hacer una oración negativa, la primer, la primer cosa que voy a comparar, que puede ser cualquier cosa, en este caso son dos ciudades, lo primero que yo voy a mencionar es la que tiene menos. En este caso es Alinópolis. Yo empiezo mi oración así. Alinópolis, y como sé que es negativa, y vamos a ver esta palabra, pollution. ¿Es eso un nombre o es eso un adjetivo? Eso es importante para ver la estructura. Ese es un nombre. Es un noun. Entonces vamos a decir, Alinópolis, que es la que tiene menos, doesn't have, have porque es un nombre, as much, en ese sería much, porque pollution es un non-countable. No -countable. Entonces va a quedar la oración. Alinópolis doesn't have as much pollution as Charleville. Lo demás ya es el complemento, el as y la última parte. Entonces, si se dan cuenta, los elementos que vamos poniendo, esos son importantes. Primero ver si una de las dos tiene más que la otra. That's the first thing. Luego veo si es nombre o adjetivo lo que estoy comparando. Y ya solo es de poner al principio lo que tiene menos. Alinópolis, como es nombre, va a ser doesn't have as much pollution as terrible Okay. Queda claro, no sé si, si vamos por. Y, and I have a question. If you, if you can, uh, if you use less in this case, it's possible, but because it's, it's non countable. Lo que pasa es que si ocupa less, ya no puede. In affirmative, in affirmative way, it's possible? Yeah, it might be. You can say, for uh, example. Oh, Alinopolis has. Uh, Alinopolis has less as less pollution uh, as terrible bill. Eh, no. Lo que pasa es que less va. Recordemos que significa less. Less es un comparativo itself. O sea que si yo ocupo less, ya es una estructura como cuando digo esto es menos que esto otro, que sería less than. Y es la otra forma de comparar, como cuando decíamos, uh, como cuando decíamos. Uh, My sister is prettier, prettier than your sister. Ahí sí se puede ocupar less. ¿Verdad? Porque estoy comparando less than. Porque less en sí es un comparativo. Eso es como que yo quisiera meterle a este pollution prettier. O le quisiera poner algún otro. Pero no va porque ya estoy ocupando as. Cuando ocupo as, sí oh, se pudiera. Okay. Ajá, ese es el comparativo. Aquí es as. Yeah. Okay. And you use only the quantifier about the pollution. In this case, yes, we're going to use the quantifier that. Much or, or, or many in, in the now in quantum now. Yeah, for nouns. That's yeah. why it's very important to identify if this word is going to be a, a noun or an adjective. That's the importance of that one. Yeah. Very good. I got it. Very good, nice. Any other question before we continue? ¿Alguna otra pregunta antes de continuar? Porque vamos a seguir practicando. In this case of big. Okay. Ah, this is a good one. Uh -huh. What's going to be? Son iguales, cuatro puntos. ¿Cómo sería entonces? I don't know. Positive. Okay, I go know. ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I think is uh, that uh, Alinopolis is as big as terrible bill. Perfect. That is it. Perfect. Aquí es donde se cumple lo que les decía yo cuando eh, hablábamos de las reglas de arriba. Si uno tiene más que el otro es negativo. Pero esta es igual, tienen igual estrellas. Entonces, si están igual, vamos a hacer una oración afirmativa. Es affirmative. And you can use Alinopolis or Terribleville at the beginning. Como son iguales, 
puede poner cualquiera de las dos al principio. No importa. So, okay. Patricia said, uh, for example, vamos a repetir esta para que vean cómo Teacher. queda. Go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't be in class. Okay. Uh, please, you can give a example to the beautiful people cleaning in hospital. Please, por For beautiful people cleaning hospital. Okay, ¿quién me quiere yeah. repetir cómo queda beautiful? ¿Cómo quedaba esa? Y luego vamos a regresar a B, que me interesa que entendamos esa. ¿Cómo serían beautiful? Terrible uh. <coughs> is not as beautiful as Alinopolis. Very good. Charleville is not as beautiful as Alinopolis. Okay, somebody else with people? Um, Alinopolis doesn't have as many people as Terribleville. Very good. So Alinopolis doesn't have as many people as terrible bill. How is going to be for clean? The terrible bill isn't as clean as Alinopolis. Very good. Terrible bill isn't as clean as Alinopolis. And the last one it is hospital. Alinopolis doesn't have as too many hospitals, too many, too many hospitals as terrible bill. Okay, so Alinopolis doesn't have as many hospitals as terrible bill. As many hospitals. Okay. Now, we're going to go back to number six. That is the church. Uh, it's a pleasure. So, um, in big, as I was telling you, this is with similar. They are the same. Just remember that when they are the same, the same level, there is no one more than the other one, the sentence is going to be affirmative. Okay? And you can, um, you can have Alinopolis first or terrible. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because they are the same, okay? So this is going to be as Patricia said. Um, Alinopolis is as big as Charleville. The same. Any question about number six? No. I got it. Good, good. So it's let's clear. do number seven. No sabe el nombre de la ciudad, pero creo que nos recordamos, verdad? So uh, yeah, who wants to do number seven? Uh, me. Okay, go ahead. Sir. Uh, parks, verdad? Yeah, parks. Okay. Uh, terrible doesn't have as many parks parks as Alinopolis. Very good. Okay. Terribleville doesn't have as many parks as Alinopolis. Nice. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Hello, I'm hallando. Yeah, that's what we need to practice, you know. The, yeah, it's, it's like, this is like driving a car. I mean, I can explain, this is the gear for this, and you have to, and you say, okay, I understand. Uh, but it's, it's different to sit down and drive a car, right? That is, that is another, another thing. <laughs> you have to remember many things. Um, okay, so number... Okay. Okay, I'm going to ask somebody. Uh, let's see, number. It's going to be number eight. Number uh, eight. Mm -hmm. For Felix. Felix? Okay. Yes. Oh. Um. Sí. Es negativa. Es negativa. It's negative, dude. That is the first thing. Uh, and it's a chip, it's, a, it's an adjective, right? It's an adjective. Uh -huh. You can use verb to be, I think. <laughs> I help him. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's good. That's what we hear. <laughs> yeah. Um, ship, uh, no, pardon, sorry. 
Alinepolis ship uh, doesn't have a uh, much money, no. I don't know. Okay, let's. Uh, vamos a ayudarle a Felix. A ver, ¿Qué sería primero? What would be the first? Terrible bill. Terrible bill. Terrible bill. Terrible. Terrible bill. That's the first one. And then after that. It's not, it's not, it's not as cheap. Okay, charitable bill is not as cheap as Alienopolis. As Alienopolis. Okay, just remember that one. Remember that first we need to uh, identify if it's negative. I mean, if one is more than the other one, it's negative. Then which one is less? And that is going to be the first thing. And then is this an adjective or a noun? If it's an adjective, the verb to be, as she was saying, uh, Roxana was saying that. So you can say that. You can say, uh, charitable bill is not as cheap as Alinopolis. Very good. Good. So number nine is going to be for, let me see. Cars. For Andrea. Um... Uh... Alinopoly ha, doesn't have car, doesn't have as car as serial by. Okay, only one word that's oh, many. Many? Many? many. Many? Yeah, uh, that's the only thing, but it was very, very good. <laughs> so it's going to be then um, Alinopolis doesn't have as many cars as terrible bill. As That is it. Okay, okay. The other one is crime. Crime is going to be crime. for Josemith. Alinopolis doesn't have uh, doesn't have too much as crime as I don't know the other. Uh, terrible. Bill. Terrible. 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 Bill. Okay, so crime is going to be uh, Alinopolis doesn't have as much crime as much crime that is it as much crime as terrible bro. good now let's check schools that is going to be for antonio okay um alinopolis have many school have as many school as terrible bill very good so you got it me so that was perfect. Alinopolis has as many schools as Charleville, the same. And that is an affirmative. So probably that is easier. Affirmatives are very easy. Negatives are the ones that we need to think a little bit more, okay? Uh, let's check rainy. That is going to be for um, Royer. No, please. I don't have a good idea, uh, teacher. <laughs> Hagámoslo juntos. Lo importante es que aprendamos okay. aquí, ¿verdad? Uh, vale, ¿qué dijimos que era lo primero que teníamos que ver? Es rain. Rain is, uh, rain is a noun or is an adjective? I think it's an adjective. It's an adjective. Rainy is an adjective. Yeah, an adjective. Okay. okay, lo primero que tenemos que ver es si es si va a quedar afirmativa o negativa. ¿Cómo podemos ver eso? It's negative. 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 Ah, pero ¿cómo lo vemos? Ayudémosle el Cuando está bien. comparando, cuando una tiene menos Depende. que la otra. Good. Menos puntos que la otra. Alenópolis has, has, has less. Entonces, lo primero terrible que vemos, bill. lo primero que vemos ah, es que una es, es más o tiene más que la otra. Y ahí ya sabemos que es negativa. Y luego vamos a ver entonces si es como decía Roxana, if this is an adjective or if this is a noun. So, rainy is an adjective, it's describing. So, if it's an adjective, we're going to use the verb to be. Now, mm -hmm. the question is, which city or which uh, of the two comparing uh, is going to be the first one? Alinopolis or Terribleville? Terribleville. 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 Okay, Terribleville. What? ¿Por qué Terribleville? Has, has Because it's less. Has less. less. Okay, so that is it. So how is going to be at the end number 12? 
um, dirty ball bill. Is not is not as it's not, not as rainy as Alienopolis. Very good. That is it. So Charleville is not as rainy as Alienopolis. Nice. Good. Okay. We're moving on. Si alguno todavía no entiende, vaya viendo cómo lo hacemos la estructura. Es bien importante esa parte, pero igual aquí para practicar. Eh, eso, el, el objetivo de la práctica es que, que sí vayamos entendiendo y lo podamos utilizar. Ok, so. No importa okay. si no, no lo he entendido todavía, para eso practicamos, ¿ok? So this tengo, is tengo una pregunta. Go ahead. Cuando, o sea, cuando son adjetivos, son así, pero cuando son nombres, sí llevan los, los many o, o less, así. Sí, ahí va a llevar many o va a llevar much o va a llevar less. Ajá, mm -hmm. No puede llevar eso. Ok. Good. Ok, so number 13. A ver, ¿a quién le preguntamos? Patricia, could you please help me with that one? Okay. Expensive houses. Mm, Bill doesn't have as many expensive houses as Al Alinopolis. Al Alinopolis. Good, perfect. That was fantastic. So it's going to be uh, Charleville doesn't have as many expensive houses as Alinopolis. That is it. Okay, now we're going to check number 14, furniture stores. Cecilia, could you please help me with this? Okay, uh, terrible bill doesn't have, a, doesn't have as furniture store as Alinopolis. Okay. So le faltó una palabra, it's missing just one word. Many. Oh, many, doesn't have as many furniture store as Alinopolis. Perfect, that is it. So, Terribleville doesn't have as many furniture stores as Alinopolis. Si se dan cuenta, ahorita ya va más fluido, ¿verdad? Ya vamos llegando al Nirvana. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, number 15. This is going to be for, let me check. And uh, in, in English, exists the, the pra la practica sean maestro. How do you say this? <laughs> Oh, exists yeah. in, in yeah. English? Practices makes teacher, yeah. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Yeah, perfect. Makes perfect. Jose, could you please help me with the next one? With 15. Okay, terrible bile doesn't have as clean water as Indianapolis. Okay, Indianapolis actually that is another city. <laughs> okay, <good. laughs> I can't remember the name. Of the <laughs> that is fine. But you did it very well. So it's going to be uh, Alinopolis. Yeah, Alinopolis. The other one. The thing is that the the name was a, 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 about right. So, um, terrible. Go ahead. Another question. Uh huh. Uh, when uh, you uh, doesn't or if not okay the verb to be is going to be always with adjectives mm -hmm. so that's why you need to identify the word that i'm comparing is this an adjective if it's an adjective it's going to be the verb to be if it's a noun then it's going to be other thing it can be well the most common is have doesn't have or have or has okay Teacher, yes. But in in this word, you have a, a an adjective and, and a noun. But yeah, you good. you are compared houses, not an expensive that that is an adjective, because it's an. I don't know if I understand my. <laughs> okay, you're talking about number fifteen, right? Yeah, 13 and 14 and, and 15 and 16 because it's a, uh, the word have an adjective with a noun. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's but you good... compare the noun in this case. Uh, yeah. You in compare, that... Yeah. Because the, the adjective is comparing, uh, is describing the noun. Describing the how, the noun. So we are interested in everything, in the, uh, in the whole thing. 
in this case is going to be uh, well let's check on number 15 number 15 is going to be Charitableville doesn't have as much clean water as Adenopolis so that is going to be uh, because yeah. the important at the end is the noun okay in this case uh, and since this is a non count noun we're going to have much, not many, but much. Because water is, is a non countable noun. That is correct. So because of that, we're going to have everything exactly the same as the other one that we were doing before, but in this case, it's going to be much in, instead of many. Okay. So uh, let's see, Roxana, could you please help me with number 16? Number 16, mm -hmm. it's the same. Okay. Point. <laughs> it's, it's uh, uh, affirmative. positive, right? It's, it's affirmative, yeah, go ahead. Affirmative, yeah. Um, Alinopolis uh, has uh, as much water. Hot water. Hot water. Oh, yeah, hot water as a uh, terrible bill. That is it, perfect. So, Adenopolis has as much hot water as terrible bill. Okay. That is it. Okay, my friends. Oh, how do you feel now after the practice? It's a little bit more clear, right? You can, yes, you can do yeah. that one. And as I was telling you, it's different when you practice and writing or with exercises that when you are talking, when you're speaking, uh, well, you need to practice and practice. But that's why we are here, to practice yeah. and get to know how it's going to be everything, okay? But you did a very good job. If somebody still doesn't understand this topic, you can type me, you can send me a message, and of course, it will be a pleasure to help you on this, okay? Okay, thanks. Okay. Okay. Are you it's over? So now we are going to oh. move on. I'm sorry? No, I think the time is over, but no. <laughs> no, no. Uh, you want to sleep, eh? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is a wishes in English. This is a very good topic as well. <laughs> so uh, we are going to use wish to express that we regret something or we would like something to be different than the way it is. Okay? Do you understand the, the general aspect of this? Uh, I understand. I, uh, this topic, I understand. I understood okay. when I study in the platform. Okay. But is the same here? I don't know. <laughs> but you, uh, sometime you gave gave us give us uh, uh, some different uh, for, uh, forms or I don't know. Of... Yeah, the thing is that in the platform, for example, they have only two two ways for this wish. I brought you. Let me yeah. see all these things, and all of those are um, different. So as I was telling you before, when we started this um, this module, the whole module, I was telling you that I like to bring more, more grammar. Uh, that means that in the platform, you are going to find two things and we are going to see here five things that you can do with this. Uh, siempre trato de traer más cosas como para que vayamos entendiendo más. Ahora, por eso nos tomamos el tiempo de entenderlo. Y recuerden de que esto es como para, es adicional para que ustedes vayan entendiendo más el inglés. So, yes, the first one, the first one is wish plus the past, the simple past. We are going to use this with the simple past we, when we want a situation in the present or the future to be different. Okay. So, for example, I wish I ate more vegetables. That means I don't eat many vegetables. I wish I ate more, but I don't. Do you understand the first one? Yeah. 
Yes. For example, teacher, when uh, the sentences, for example, I wish I studied English, is possible? That is good, yeah. Uh, you okay. can say maybe with a little compliment, it would be better. So something like, I wish I studied more English when I was in um, school. When I, uh, when I was young. Oh, when I was younger. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, th but that is perfect. So that means that you didn't study. You wish you studied, but it didn't happen. Okay. 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 Good. So the first one is piece of cake. Let's Teacher. Go ahead. But when you use wish, you need to have a question uh, previous when you said uh, about about I'm sorry but I can't hear you sometimes I I hate when <laughs> when my my English doesn't through <laughs> to my <laughs> brain and but but you uh, in the first one for example mm -hmm. I wish I ate more vegetable because you don't eat vegetable or or you eat a little vegetable yeah you need to a previous situation um not necessarily oh. uh, because you can just express something so for example you can i don't know you can be very stressful at work for example and you can say i wish um i wish i, I wish you were here oh well that would be something like that yeah so but it not it doesn't necessarily have to have uh, something how can i tell you or, or a previous expression on that one you can just express your wish uh, any of these wishes in any time at any moment okay okay, okay. uh i guess uh, it's going to be better for us to stop here and continue with the other ones because there are many as you can see there and we need to understand very well that one so uh, we're going to stop here and we're going to continue this topic this incoming Monday. Also remember everybody to finish the um, sections one, two, and three and also to finish the midterm test. So uh, we're going to be exactly where we need to go. And next week we're going to start in section four and uh, move on it's very important for you to move on in the platform remember that that is what is going to give you uh, the chance to go to the next level okay and before we finish is there any question before we stop the class any question about the class itself or the platform or anything that you may want to ask no questions clear as okay so my friends it was a pleasure to be with you i hope uh, you have a question Roxanne. yes um in the last uh, in the last classes uh emilio i don't know if is if is our classmate or is a teacher uh he sent us uh, the the chart to the the uh, and the chart in the WhatsApp. Okay. And it's it's good for me because uh, I like to review my class. Okay. And I write uh, the the exercise and I complete uh, again and I write. Okay. And I don't know if if you uh, uh, can send this chart or or is another person I don't know. Well, actually, I send it sometimes and sometimes he sent. It. So don't worry. What I will do is I'm going to send it tomorrow. Uh, every time that we finish, and if you want more exercises, of course, I can send them as well. Okay. Very Thanks. Good. It's a pleasure. Any other comment, question, anything else? Also remember that 
the papers for you to apply to the next level has been sent so you can submit those as soon as possible please perfect my friends it was a pleasure to be here with you in this class this thursday i hope you have a wonderful weekend and see you next monday thank you so much okay. 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 See you. thanks you see you next week have a nice weekend good night good night good night good night good night good night